Exactly. This is a size, this one here is a size 14, this is a 16, so I'm just going a tad smaller. As you can see it's in the Comparadon style. Now the thread I'm going to be using, this one's the Uni Thread 8O in grey. Now we need to start with thread at the eye, just come down, maybe about halfway, and remove the base piece. Bring your thread back up halfway again to this point, and this will give you the, the area to tie your wing in. Now I'm going to mix the wing to give basically the, the, the hackles normally used in the Adams is an actual red and a grizzle. So these are the two I'm going to use, two uh, parts of tea here, the dyed brown. And this here is a bit of caribou, this is the body, um, belly hair, and uh, here dyed brown as I say. Now just going to mix as I say. Now you basically just going to try and get a blend to suit. Now I'm going to go brown then the natural, and then brown again, just mixing them up. Just going to stack it, put in tip first. Remove the fine under fur before you stack. Just to take it off the way you're actually going to tie it on. Forward to the eye. Length, hook length, shank length, just forward to the eye. Just come in, don't need a lot for this size. Two or three turns down. Break this off. I like. I prefer to break the fibers off if you can. Now I have waxed the thread, so there's plenty of grip. And then we're to our caribou. Just make sure the under fluffs away. And again, I'm going to tips first. We stack it. Watch for any broken ends. Yeah, same length. You could have it slightly longer, it's up to the cell or shorter. Much the same length. Tight again, forward of the eye, come in. Two or three turns down. I'm just going to make sure it's on top, keeping hold of the cut ends, don't let them go. Nice and tight. Come down with two or three turns at the back. Break off. Missed a couple there, but that's okay. And we're back to the brown. Okay, just open the fibres, and you can see the fine fluff hanging there. You've got to remove that. And tips first into the stacker. Take it out over the basically the point you're going to tie it here. The cut end there. Take it away. Don't want it. You don't have to be as fussy as this. Again, much the same length. Just come in. Just make sure your threads up against the wing. Make sure it's there. There we are. Come in. A couple of good tight turns, get it set, or get it on the hook. Oops. Stamp the desk there and it bumped the bobbin and made it loose, so come back, tighten up, start to come down, and then you can break away. And that'll give you like a taper. I'm just going to check. There's your wing there, nice. Well mixed. Looks okay. I'm going to carry one down. Stop just before it goes round the bend. Now the tail, I'm just going to use some. This is a Cock de Leon. It's quite a dark fibre. ideal for tails. This is a whiten. Now you can mix this as well. Now I'm going to take off a few fibres of that. And then some natural brown. Again, just get it close to the tips. Just two or three fibres of the brown. 
and let them naturally kind of mix themselves. Length, looking at length of the hook. Let's hold that. Now, the, basically, the cut ends or the waist ends towards yourself at a slight angle. And you use that basically turn to lift them up on top. Now, that turn of thread is on the bare hook. Now, then I take the thread underneath the tail, come round, let the tail fibers go. And then bring the thread tight up against the fibres to lift them. And I come in two or three turns to make sure it's secure. You'll see how they slightly flay the, the play the fibres out. So anyway, there we go. For the egg sack, I'm just going to use a nice bright yellow dubbin. Just a nice dry fly dubbin. And then just dub it nice and tight onto your thread. Now you could put a wee turn underneath me and you can come underneath like this. And then tighten that up, form your basically tag or small egg sack as it's called. Let me quick look. A wee turn, take away the excess. Just gotta be patient with it. And then the natural dubbing I'm going to use, this is mole and rabbit, natural rabbit mixed and blended together. Slightly dub it on your thread. Slide it up. It's nice and tight. There's your first turn, which is basically anchoring the fibres, come round. Just check, oh, just watch the point of the hook. And build up a taper. Take your time. Come right up against the wing. There we go. Now what I'm going to do here is basically come through with the dubbing, pulling back some of the fibres. Nice tight turns. Come right up against now. Just going to check. This will get you your thorax as well. Plus, help separate these fibres. Now, we're going to drip more dub in here. Just come on and come up. Get your wing. Just make sure it's nice and tight up against there. Get your dub in up against your wing. Don't worry about the wing at the moment. Just get your dub in. In front, this will help keep the, the deer hair up. Anything going forward to the eye, just going to take this fibre away. Stroke it back, do a turn. Now, what I'm going to do here is put some varnish on my thread, just to the first half inch of the thread part. And then what finish? One, two, three, four. That will seal it. Take any excess away with your nail. Nice and tight. And there you go. And that there's your your Adams. Your female Adams comparison. It's a very popular pattern, the Adams in America especially. And uh, the comparison style is a great great part, I mean it sits the fly nice on the surface. So I hope you enjoyed that.